Hey everyone, it's Linda from The Design Doodler. In today's doodle how-to, I'm gonna show you how to set up a density sampler. You'll be able to stitch this out and then compare the different densities and fill patterns while you're doodling. So come on, let me show you how to get started. <laughs> A grid set to one inch by one inch. You can change yours if you don't have it set this way by coming under the three dots, select settings, imperial is for inches, and under this settings tab, select the grid and just type in a one and a one and you will have a one inch grid on your screen and just put close. We will use the fill tool today. So I'm going to come over here, select the brush, and down here on the bottom is the fill tool. And to make it easier, we're going to select the square. I'll come up and pick a color that I like. I like hot pink, and I'm just going to drag a square right across just to fill in in this box. So there is our first square we will use in our sampler. So I'm going to select it. I'm gonna hit copy and paste and just drag right across, copy and paste. We'll have five different densities for each pattern. You can of course choose more, so it's up to you, however many you'd like. So we've got these all set right here. Let's even them out. So I went down to this box that selected all. You can see the blue bounding box. And if we come right here, this is the align tool. I'm going to align them so that they're all the same on the bottom. So they all line up on the bottom. And now we will make sure that they're evenly distributed across right there. So they're all equal distance apart. You can have them as close or as far apart as you like. It's up to you. We don't need the palette docker anymore, but we will now use the properties docker. And you can see right here, these are all set to a 4.4 millimeter density. I'd like you to come down under the trailing route and just change that to edge. So now you will not see any underlay stitches underneath the sampler. You, you will just see the stitches running across. We will work this first row is going to be pattern one. And we will change the various densities of each square. So the first one's set to 0.4, which is fine. I like, these are just my personal preferences. This is 0.6. You can choose whichever one you'd like. I'm going to go 0.8. This one is 1.2. That's a handy setting if you're using Mylar. It's a really nice light density. And then hit enter. And this one, I'm going to go 1.6 millimeters. So these are all set. We'll go back to the select all tool right here. And we are going to copy and paste this row drag it down to another row below. And let, this time we're going to select pattern two. And this automatically changes it to pattern two. Notice how the densities are just as they were just above, but notice that is now pattern two. We will copy this row. I'm just taking my cursor and dragging right over those five boxes and we will copy and paste this row. Place it right here. We will change this to pattern three. Click off. Let me then come up here. Let me pan up with my hand. Remember when you pan up, then you need to reselect a tool. For this, I'm gonna hit the select tool and I'm just gonna highlight this row right here. Copy, paste, drag it down. And this time we will use the smooth pattern. These four patterns right here are tatami patterns. We don't want to use the satin stitch patterns for this because it is too wide and it's not going to stitch out properly. Now we've got all of our different pattern types with the various densities. Let's go ahead and make a quick label for it. I'm going to select the text tool, which is right here. And notice the word text pops up. If you click on it, I'm just going to drag it over here. You'll see the text box right here. I'm just going to put P1 in there and let's make this like uh, like a third of an inch high, 0.35, and I'll shrink it down, and I'm just gonna move it right here. Then we will copy and paste it, drag it down, change this to pattern two. I'm just gonna go backspace there and type a two in, enter, and you can see how fast this goes. Really, it's just a copying, pasting 
exercise. Backspace there, P3, enter this last one, copy and paste. We'll move this right here and we'll type in smooth on that one. Now we can type the density right up here. So let's come up, copy and paste, and I'm just gonna do 0.4 here. Move that right here, copy, paste, 0.6, and so on. You get the idea. Now you're ready to save this as your JDX file. We'll just type in density sampler, and that's a JDX file right there. So say save, and then you'll come back up and you'll type density sampler again, and you will find your favorite machine file format to save it in. And then you can send it to your machine and stitch it out. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create a density sampler in the Design Doodler. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. Also join our Design Doodler Facebook group where you'll learn more creative ways to use this amazing software.